Well, today we're going to be doing a little test drive, not with a vehicle, but with a camper. We're testing out a tri-axle toy hauler. It's a Seismic by Jayco. It actually matches my F450 like perfectly. And I'm kind of going all over the road right now, kind of see how she handles. Now the camper looks really nice, but today's goal is to test her out and see what the heck she's made out of. And if we're ever going to sell them at our dealership here. Good morning, boss man. How's the morning shift go? Oh, it's been going actually really, really well. Sold two campers and have a third person interested in one. So, Jeez, no complaints. In a four hour yep. shift. Dang, you're the beast of a salesman. Well, check it out. I was telling you about the camper we're going to be testing out today. Here she is, an old toy hauler. Jeez, these things are huge. I didn't realize how big this is. Like, where are we even going to put all these if we do end up getting an order? I know. Right now, I'm thinking we'll have some inside, outside. Currently, we're only selling two pole campers, and they're bumper poles, so not fifth wheels. And then on the inside showroom, we have a bunch of different assortments of actual, you know, motorhomes or RVs. When did we get that trailer? I've never seen it before. Yeah, I just picked it up not too long ago. That was just out of my wallet. But hey, Did you paint it good. yourself? Could you tell? Yeah, kind of. It looks terrible. Like, it looks like you're trying to match it with the RV, and you kind of messed up. Let's see how she handles this tight turn. It's not the best driveway, too. It needs a little bit of work. Stay out of the grass. I mean, it's a big camper at 45 feet long, I believe. Triple axle. You need the three axles if you ever have something heavy in the back. She's handling these rough roads pretty good. Brakes feel really solid, and I was able to slow down really fast. Oh, I was like, what brakes? I thought you were driving a truck, but I guess there are trailer brakes. You didn't know there were trailer brakes on this thing and you sold two campers this morning? What the heck? You must be scamming the people. Hey, I, we have the best deals in town. We're also like the only dealer in town, but hey, no one knows that. That's true. Taking her down a gravel road. Oh, I hate to do oh, this. Oh, that's a pole. Now you can test those brakes. Uh, boss man, you just hit a pole? Yeah, I did. Dude, this is like, why I always drive. Cab. Back it up and get out of there. Well, someone is, like, a foot behind you. You're me. right. You're right. Sorry. There we go. I'll look at the road this time. I was distracted by that amazing-looking camper. I know. I was just about to say, the best thing about it so far is, I think, how perfect, like, the colors are and everything in my setup with the F450 looks beautiful. Here we go. Let's see how she handles the weight of the camper. Because it's not light. I think it's coming in around 25,000 pounds empty. By the time you put a generator in there, fill her up with water, if you got some some extra gray stuff in the tank, then you're hauling a toy, you'll get heavy. What is gray stuff? We'll talk about that later. Okay. There's a turn coming up. Actually, go down there. Go down there. I okay. took the wrong turn. Hang a right. Slam on the brakes. And that felt really good. Boss man missed his turn like always. Do you think I can off-road? Oh, gosh. Send it. I'm doing it. Please don't bottom out. Please don't bottom out. Oh, I definitely heard some scraping. Yee, that was... Okay. We made it. Go. It's all good. Cut in front of Close me. Close your eyes. Nothing happened. We have not been back here. How do you know where you're going? Uh, well, Google Maps is a cool new invention. Okay, very it good. Gets the job done. And for a little bit of gravel, I wish I had mud flaps on that 450. I think I'm kicking up rocks. Luckily, no one's behind, or at least deer. if they deer. are, they'll stay back. Oh, geez, we barely missed the deer. Oh, dear. Look at this, man. We should go here more often. Yeah, super cool view. I love the drive. I'm just a little worried if somebody's coming around the corner. It looks like one lane. Yes, sir. Okay, a little bit of a tight turn there. Keep kind of following the path. It'll be okay. What are you getting for MPG in that thing, pulling the trailer? Uh, it just says error. It's terrible. Okay, yeah. I assume it was pretty rough. We have a turn coming up, man. Make a right. Oh, jeez. This looks like a switchback. Okay. Yep. Good luck. All right, here we go. Swing as wide as possible. I don't want to rub on anything. Oh, we're good. Ooh. Yeah, go in the grass a bit if you have to. Nice. That wasn't bad. Pretty smooth pulling this trailer, but I also have literally the best truck you can buy for this kind of thing, an F450. So if somebody were to come in, you know, maybe with like a three-quarter ton or something like that, a gasser, it would be a little bit of a struggle. You probably need a diesel pickup. I think we are about at the spot. We just have to decide where we want to go. Perfect. A little bit of off-roading in the grass. See how the suspension holds up on the camper. Overall, what would you rate the ride here? Pulling? Really good. Now we're going to have to check out interior, see all the mechanics work, everything like that. Now, the nicest part about this camper is there's a master switch to unfold everything all at once. Here we go. Heck yeah. And then let's drop the back door here. This is the toy hauler space. Are they jammed up top? What is going on here? Why is this not open? I don't know. It's kind of sticky. Come on. Kick it. What the heck? Here, let me pull really, really hard. 
There she is. Finally, we got it down. I think the hinges. Oh, yeah, they look pretty off aligned. All right, that's one negative for this so far. Maybe it's just a defect on this one, but honestly, the garage space isn't that big. Well, you know, it can hold what? Probably, well, definitely a golf cart. Oh, actually, well, we should probably test that out, shouldn't we? Yes, we should. I want to see what you brought. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Nice. You brought a bike, a golf cart, like a dune buggy thing. Sweet. Yeah, so let's, you know what, get that out of there and put that golf cart in the trailer if it fits. No matter how old I get, I always say golf carts are one of the best things to drive. Nothing beats it. I agree. Super fun, quiet. You can zip around. Uh-oh. I, I spun the back tires there for a second. That's my bad. Driver air. Well, hey, it fits. Yeah. Plenty of room. The only negative about this garage is it doesn't directly connect to the living quarters. Oh, that's true. Quite odd of a design if you ask me yeah usually they connect and then right now there's no like sleeping bunks usually there's bunks on the side that you can fold up fold down and it kind of gives you like four more you know people can sleep in the camper which is super nice well maybe that's why this thing's a little cheaper than some of the other ones out there oh but... it's not cheap so what we're oh, gonna be buying it for boss man it's cheap nowadays man you gotta put things in perspective I but what, what are we buying these for? this is 135 wholesale so we're Ooh. buying it from uh -oh. jaco at 135 so we gotta i don't know i was that kinda is thinking terrible 165 155 that we're gonna list it at do you think if we get enough we could get a cheaper deal like that is i i'm not impressed with the quality of the hinges and it doesn't have those features like come on man sure. they could do better than that i agree well Let's, uh, let's kind of see, uh, let's just start running this thing. I'm going to jump in the golf cart. You want to cruise around? Sure, let's do it. Now remember, boss man, we just got to act like we're camping. We are luxury camping with this thing at that price point. So let's go cruise around, jump on your bike, and we'll go hit some trails. Golf cart first mini bike, go. Three, two, one. Oh, this thing better beat it. Oh, oh yeah. you're gated on me. Dang it. See you later, man. Going downhill? Yeah, check this trail out. A couple bushes in the way, but it could be a pretty cool hill climb through the trees. There's a bunch of deer again. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Boss man. Um, Where'd your bike go? It went for a swim. I only got one seat. You're going to have to walk home, dude. No, 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 no. Man, I... Oh, okay. Have a good one, man. No, you See can't you leave me. Dang it. That little son of a gun. I had to walk all the way back here a couple miles. Oh, you made it. There you are. Why did you take so long? Did you make me a lunch at least? Oh, no. What? I, I ate lunch, though. Like, I already finished lunch. What it smells? Took a while, man. Smell. It smells good. You used the toilet in the camper. It's not ready or set up for it. Well, someone had to test it out. No, dude, 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 dude. I don't I have any water it. in the tanks, and, like, I didn't have the plumbing system that fully connected. That explains it. Oh, okay. That explains what? What happened? So when I, okay, so like I flushed it and like it didn't do anything besides open this little flap. I was like, that's kind of strange. And then I tried to sink and then it was like air and you know, I was There's like, no oh, water just, in yeah. the lines. Of course not. Yeah. I, I, I thought it, you know, maybe just cause it's new. Oh. It hasn't like filtered through. Oh, that stinks. We got to take care of that. Go ahead. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to put something in. Let's put something in the toy hauler garage here. That way I see how it kind of feels. And then we better start heading back. I guess we're heading back with one less thing. Yeah, you should have plenty of room in there. And then this should really give me an idea of what a little bit of weight does in the back of this thing. If it still rides smooth or it can get a little squirrely. All right, follow me. We're going to do an official road test here with actually some loaded weight in here. And after boss man using the bathroom. Oh, gosh, hopefully no issues because it stinks back there. Here we go. A little bit of an off road downhill test going pretty fast. Let's go off road here a little bit and you're speeding. Oh, no, not anymore. That didn't sound right. And it doesn't feel what right. Was that? Hit the brakes. Hey, I'm at the bottom of the hill. Slow down. Slow what down. was that, man? What was that? Dang it. That did not sound good at all. I got a flat tire. Two flat tires. What the heck? Yep. Two flats. And I'm going to look for a nail. But if they ain't a nail in this, I'm going to be upset. These kind of look like junk tires, too. I'm upset either way, man. These shouldn't be popping the first time we ever use these things. Exactly. And both at one time. Do we even have... There's no way we have two spares. What do we even do for here? I think here? just one. We're going to replace the back one and then leave the okay. middle one flat or take it off completely. And it should be able to limp down the road. I'm thinking leave it on. It may just rip off as we drive, but best to at least hang on there in the meantime. All right. 
let's grab your impact gun and get this change. All right, good work. Let's get going back down the road. If you see a tire fly off, let me know. Yeah, I'm going to keep a little bit of distance just out of safety. Here we go. We're going to test out the suspension leaf springs. Let's get some air. What are you doing? Whoa. Heck yeah. What the heck? She stayed on the fifth wheel. That looked kind of cool. Hey, Spencer, that does not look like it's trailering correctly. It is swaying all over the place. Yeah, it's hard to hold onto the steering wheel right now, man. I thought it was the truck. It must be the trailer. Uh, um, should we pull over or something? Uh, let me see man, if that's I not speed up. Good. Let me speed up and see if it fixes. What do you mean? Don't speed up. Oh, no. It just came unhooked. What the brakes? It ripped my bed off. Oh, no. What in tarnation station? You know what, boss man? I think it must have came unhooked. When you're saying it you know was what? feeling funny, I should have looked behind me. You know what I'm thinking? This thing's a piece of garbage. It's just one issue after another. There's no way we didn't hook it up correctly. We've done that like hundreds of times. So what, do we need like a tow truck now? Ah, uh, we'll figure it out. I'm thinking we're using the gooseneck ball before. Now we're going to go fifth wheel. So we'll take this adapter off, use the kingpin, see if we can at least strap her down and then limp down the road. All right, but everything's going to work best. Does it look right now? I'm going to leave the tailgate down. Yeah, it looks really good. Just has a few pop tires and yeah, it looks lovely, man. Yeah, I think it's almost sitting on my bed rails now too. So I'm going to go super slow, try and limp it back. I'll see you there. Well, I decided to let boss man go ahead. He can lead the way back. Wait a second. I feel really light. The truck's turning really easy. What? There's no trailer behind me. Boss man, radio in. We got an incident. What? What's up? What's up? Do I need to come back? Where's my fifth wheel? That's what's up. Huh? Yeah. Okay, uh, one sec. I'll, I'll be over there. Boss man, it's in the river. What do you mean it's in the river? It must have came detached. I wasn't paying attention, blaring to music, and it just slid There's into the no river. There's no way. There is literally no way. Yeah, this isn't good, guys. It looks like she blew tires on the right side now, and then it came undone and slid into the water. I'm thinking, stand right next to it, boss man. Right, okay. right there. All right. Three, two, one, cheese. No, what? No, don't. And she's on Facebook Marketplace for $10. Whoever wants it can have don't, it. Don't put me in the photo. It's going to look like we're bad RV salesmen. Nah, it's all right. People will find it funny. 10 bucks. It's a good deal. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button. And let's roll some coal on Boss Man in the golf cart. Hey. hey.